attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, catapults the United States into World War II. Every American is called on to support the war effort. Few answer the call with as much grit and courage as the residents of Colleen and its neighbors in nearby farm communities. There was rumors of uh, the possibility that an army base might be built somewhere in Texas. And the Colleen area was listed in that, but uh, people didn't think too much about it because it was, you know, not for sure. Then all of a sudden, they did choose the Colleen area. The United States decided in World War II that they needed a place to train soldiers in tank destroyer tactics, and they found Central Texas as the place to do that. It's all about the tank destroyers center, and their model is seek, strike, and destroy. And that's a new organization, and it's specifically developed to counter the, the huge armor threat of uh, the Axis powers. The news is that Camp Hood is coming and needs their space so that it can be successful, this platform for heavy maneuvers. And what individual families were asked to do was to give up their homes, their home places, their memories, and all the emotions that go with that. If you can imagine the impact of going from that very basic agricultural lifestyle to being pulled into the early stages of World War II, uh, losing your home, your farm, your land, some of your sons, and your entire community just disappearing uh, almost overnight. Uh, that's a hard thing to deal with. My grandmother, Irene Clemens Elms, she was 92 years old, blind, and the oldest taxpayer in Coriel County. She said, well, I've been through three wars, the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and World War I. And if it takes this to win this for the United States of America, then I can do it. Relocation of displaced farm families was only the first challenge. Now attention shifted to building Camp Hood and dealing with the thousands of construction workers, trainers, soldiers, and their families who poured into Colleen in the spring of 1942. So the town went from about 1,200 people in 1940 U.S. Census to over 30,000 overnight. You can imagine the strain on the water supply, the sewer system, and, and everything else. The uh, people were living any place, or sleeping any place they could. People rented their bedrooms, their garages. They lived under bridges and tents, uh, chicken coops, or uh, rented rooms if anybody had them, uh, put up tents. Some of them have the night shift, some would have the day shift, and they just exchange, change the boat from one to another. I mean, they just, those people, bless their hearts, just had to do the best they could. It was a, a very fast build, as you can imagine, from April till the end of August. And then Camp Hood opened officially in September of uh, 1942. It was a small town. It was a difficult time. It was a huge impact. But Killeen figured out how to step back and look at the bigger picture, the greater good, and figure out how to make Killeen as successful a supporter as it could be of Camp Hood then and eventually Fort Hood. And I think you still see that today. 